Hello everyone and welcome back to Mario Kart DS. Now I'm gonna keep my word and I'm gonna show some character exclusive vehicles today. Gonna go with Luigi and his Poltergust 4000. If you ever play Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon and want and if you play the original Luigi's Mansion and then Dark Moon and you were wondering why they went from 3,000 to 5,000, Mario Kart DS is the reason why. Because 4,000 is a vehicle. And was, you know, already taken. I like that um, the dev team for that game really had that level of attention to detail. <laughs> Toad raiding around in the marshmallow there. Though, I think the Mushmallow, Toad's special vehicle that he's in right now. I think that that vehicle's name is the reason that, to this day, I still sometimes mix up Mushrooms and Marshmallows. Thanks, Toad. Yeah, Desert Hills, which has this uh, whole Super Mario Bros. 3 aesthetic going to it. Which, I mean, I never played Mario 3 when I was younger, but when I played it later, I did appreciate that they uh, made this little nod. Another one of this game's famous creations, uh, this track, Delfino Square. Actually, technically, Delfino Square is this game's creation. Before you go out and be like, Mario Sunshine created that, no, that's Delfino Plaza, it's different. Technicalities aside, uh, this course is really nice, and so is its music. Probably been years since I actually raced with the Poltergust 4000, but you know, I'm surprisingly doing a pretty good job. Not been the best idea. Well, it wasn't the best idea, but I did get out unscathed. You 
you may note that I take this way every time. I don't think there's anything better about it. I just go that way. It's like with um, the split path in Mute City 2 for SNES F-Zero. I just... I take the left one a lot. I don't know why, but I just do. Okay, I'll admit, the Luigi Circuit flyover, I let it play because I like the music. But this one I let it play because this is probably the most famous track in Mario Kart history. If you don't know Waluigi Pinball, we can't be friends. This track returned in Mario Kart 7, the Mario Kart, that one Mario Kart game that didn't have Waluigi in it. Okay, strange choice, but great course anyway. It's literally a pinball table and we're driving on it and that is neat. There's a there's a DS track called Wario Stadium, even though there's already a Wario Stadium before this, and probably many Wario Stadiums after this. I didn't keep track. But anyway, this music is also used for that track, and I think it speaks to how notable this track is that no one even remembers. Um, DS Wario Stadium when they hear this music. Not one person thinks of that course instead of this one. I've been ahead pretty much the whole race, so I'm suspecting that the blue shell is going to come near the end here. And I'm going to crash into a wall. That's just... that's just me. And the blue shell came. I knew it was going to come. Played Mario Kart long enough to know that if you are in the lead the entire race, the blue shell is coming. Doesn't matter which game it is, if you are in the lead for the entire race, the blue shell is coming. I think the only game that it won't come for you in, where the blue shell is technically present, or the only games is... Hmm. I think I've seen it in Mario Kart Super Circuit once. Anyway, the only one that I'm 100% certain you will never see in single player, no matter how far ahead you are, is Mario Kart 64 because the AI in that game can't throw shells. It's a very specific item set they can use and it's kind of confusing. And they use it separate from item boxes. Why am I telling you all this? Because to this day I still get comments like on the CPU controlled Mario Kart 64 videos. Where it's like, why is, how is he holding an item in the item box and not using it? It's because they are not connected. Because what items the CPU uses in the item box is not connected in any way. 
unlike later games in the series. Later games in the series, it is connected, but... Mario Kart 64, it is not. Ooh, DK, that was really mean. This is why they didn't give you a Donkey Kong Country game for, like... Jeez, how long was it? I think it was at least 10 years, probably closer to 13. But I mean, Mario also got that 2D platformer hiatus too, so... Anyway, DKC fans, rejoice! Donkey Kong has a reference vehicle to one of the animal buddies in this game. I'll bet you- I bet you'll never guess which one. I love doing that. It's really funny when you can get it to happen. It's really hard to get it to happen, but it's funny. See, I don't think this is just is just for testing. Okay. Yeah, unlocking uh, cops sticks to specific difficulties. Yes, Rambi Rider. DKC fans know. And it is called the Mushmallow. I knew it. Let's go with Wario in uh, the Brute, or just Brute, I don't know if there's a thought in front of it. Whatever. Proper noun. Uh, one thing I do really like about this game that Unfortunately, no game after this could get down, just because of, well, the limitations of, uh, the limitations of there being more than four previous games in the series. If you can't tell where I'm going with this, there are 16 retro tracks, four from each of the four previous Mario Kart games, so there's an equal number. Later Mario Kart games couldn't quite get this whole equal number thing down, but, you know, at some point it becomes more and more difficult to do. And you have to start picking and choosing. It always annoyed me, but, I mean, there is nothing you can really do about it. Also, in terms of previous games, I'm obviously not counting the Mario Kart arcade games that Namco made. There were 
There was only one of them out at this point, but they would go out to make a second one, and then a third one, and then I think even a fourth one, because good lord. Namco really likes their Mario Kart. That is why the blue shell is infamous, friends. But oh well. I mean, we still got second place, so I'm not too torn up over it. I'd say in Mario Kart Wii, it's a little bit worse. And I'd say it's a bit worse by the virtues of having 12 people on the racetrack at the same time, and all of them are getting items to try and catch up, and then you get knocked back, and then it continuously happens in a sort of stream sometimes. And that doesn't happen all that much in this game. That's just the virtue of having more racers on the track at once. Or, well, it's I, it's not a virtue, but the result of. Uh, rambling, rambling about useless garbage and how words work at four in the morning playing Mario Kart DS. I really don't know what to do with my life. Ooh, Peach trying to be sneaky. Oh, in Mario Kart Double Dash, uh, the Bob-omb was a special item. Might as well point that out. It was a special item of Wario and Waluigi, but in this game, it made its debut as a standard non-special item. And the Chain Chomp from Double Dash, uh, it has a is a new spiritual successor in the form of the Bullet Bill, which has stuck around ever since. Mess that up bad. Hopefully, I can do some other Mario Kart games too. Uh, later down the road for LP, I mean. I didn't even mean to do that. I was just going to boost right there, and then the boost started to come, so it was like, well, damn, this has been a very blue shell heavy race. That's really heavy. We have three people all at the same point value. And we have GBA Bowser Castle 2. I don't know if I've said that already. Also, yeah, I try and remember to switch the minimap to this um, overview minimap, but sometimes I forget.
some reason, this track in particular stuck out to me a lot as a kid. I don't know why, it just did. Jeez, just look at that minimap. We are so far ahead right now. There's no way this is gonna last. Hit my own banana, but that's not what I meant. You know what I'm trying to get at, but apparently it's just not coming. Oh boy. A lot of people think this version of the track is the worst version of this track, but I'm gonna come out here and be controversial. The Mario Kart 8 version is a lot worse than this. This version's fine, that version is not. This version is heavily compromised. But even when they didn't... But even when their idea for what to do with the track wasn't compromised... Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is just... Or rather, Mario Kart 8's interpretation. It was a DLC track, I think. But either way, the Mario Kart 8 version of Baby Park is so much worse. Also, yes, I know I technically broke a rule there by doing a tiny bit of snaking at the end, almost, but whatever. Also, yeah, you can skip those. Which I'm doing now. And I'll see you next time for more Mario Kart.